Hey guys, Stephen with SBK Reptiles here. Um, going to show you guys this clutch that Sophia is sitting on. This is day 60. I allowed her to do maternal incubation. These babies actually started hatching at day 59. So some people ask, what's the difference? How long does it take? Um, does maternal incubation take longer? Sometimes it can, but right on time, um, based on everyone's day 60 is when babies hatch. She really wants to jack me up, but kind of wanted to show um, some of those babies because it's really neat um, doing maternal incubation. It literally never gets old. So this female is Sophia. She was produced by uh, Mudden and the male I bred her to is my bright male Veloster who is produced by Nate at um, Nate Jameson. Um, he's no longer doing carpets anymore though. So let's see if I can move her around. She's really upset but I kind of want to show just a couple of the babies still kind of peeking out. None have left the egg yet. Like I said they started at day 59. I don't want to upset her too much. Um, somebody did, I asked when this clutch was laid if I should do maternal incubation or there's a little zebra right there that's pulling away back into the egg. So, little zebra and two normal so far. So we'll see what pops out and how these guys look. I'm very excited for this clutch. But when I had posted um, this female when she had laid her egg, somebody had commented, I asked, should I do maternal incubation or artificial incubation? And one of the comments said, you know, with a nice expensive clutch like that, do artificial incubation. And I just think it's interesting, um, you know, not to attack them, um, but just so much the mindset that people have. Maternal incubation works just as well. In fact, um, artificial incubation you know your incubator could go out anything could happen if the heat goes out in this cage um, this female will still generate heat to keep the eggs warm so everything went well if you haven't tried maternal incubation I think you should try it very easy literally just a box with um, moist sphagnum moss a hole cut in the side and she did all the rest went in there laid her clutch and sat on them for 60 days now and I never saw this female leave the clutch for anything she has her fresh water just outside but like I said I never saw her leave so pretty excited for this guys um, there are a few people who have first dibs at this clutch that they've been waiting a very long time if you're interested you could send me a message and you'll get put on the list otherwise as they start to eat I will just post them up for sale so be sure to follow us on our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, at SBK Reptiles. Be sure to hit this like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want more updates on projects that I'm working at here at SBK Reptiles. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.